Just regular wood. You know what I mean? Bam, look at that. Nice. And I could actually put this somewhere else, too. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Okay. Um, let's make you... I'm going to make you resin. Resin. Sweet. And all the stuff that comes with it. Obsidian and flint is in here, too. I think you need dandelions to make a potion. I think that's what it is. Dandelions make a potion. And we've got a lot of stones. What I could do is I could grab the cart. We'll run over here and grab all my stone. And we'll just load up. Fill up the inventory. I really didn't need to do that, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, I've actually got more wood and stone here. So we'll just we'll go ahead and fill this damn thing up. Uh, let's see. Cancel. Bam. Is there anything else? Coal. Yeah, I'm still overburdened. Still overburdened. There we go. Alright. Oh, boy, get down here. Stop messing with my chair. Stop messing with my chair. Alright, so, let's grab wood. I might not have enough room for all this wood, so... Just bear with me. Yeah, we're not going to have enough for all that. That's fine. Uh, we'll leave the wood here. Now it's time for the stone. Now it's time for the stone. And I will put... Hmm, we could we could put it here and uh, move the Durfies. Yeah. That way it's on the bottom. Damn, that's a lot of space, man. Let's uh, let's actually put the Durfies here. And the cores. Durf cores. Durf cores. So the durf eyes and cores. Can all the st stone. Uh, where'd I put the stone? Stone goes here. Stone goes in old dwarf eye. So. We got stone. Much stone. Much stone. Excuse me. Uh, let's see. Hmm. What else? Is that? Is that all of it? Is that all the stuff that's in here? No, we got trophies. Trophies. It's going to be so nice to have an actual trophy trophy case. So freaking nice. Stuff and things. It's perfect. So I can I can actually have more than just 12 trophies. I can actually get s mega F-tons of trophies, which is awesome. So I can keep all my trophies. So I can go back and get the uh, the skeleton trophies and all of those other things and actually have stacks of them. I would like to make a make a dedicated like trophy area, but I don't I don't really see that being a thing. Uh, let's see, trophies! Yay! All right, so uh, I'll be right back, dudes. I need to go do that thing because I drink too much coffee. Be right back. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. And thank you for being here. Alrighty, boys. Cheers to you. Thank you for being here. You guys are so very awesome being here every single day watching me do my thing. Very much appreciate that. I got a lot of nails now, too, don't I? Yeah. Wood arrows. Wood arrows. So, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and throw you in there. We're going to throw some coal in here. I'm going to go grab all this old equipment, and we're just going to go bing, 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 bing. And that should be good. Do I have, yeah, this is arrows. So the problem here is that I'm going to quickly run out of room in this one. Even with the arrows. Like, I could get rid of this, but, I mean, like, get rid of it. How do I get rid of it? You know what I mean? What do I need to do to get rid of all that crap? Um, but at least I'll have all my old equipment ready to rock and roll. Wolf fur cape, yeah. Gotta love that, man. The wolf fur cape. Uh, let's see. We'll grab you. 
There. There. Capes here. Uh, hatchet. Okay, that's that's good. That's wood cutting implements there. We'll grab leather stuff from the deer. Yep. Weapons. Okay, there you go. All right, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I I like that. And what that means is that now I have another chest. Sweet. And we got more trophies here. Got more nails for that boat that I wanted to build. Yep. What's in this one? Bits and bobs. What's in that one? Nothing. So it's going to be my troll leather. Uh, where's my trophies? There we go. So I got a place for those now, too. Uh, yep. And we're going to put here, here, and here. And we're going to put boat and stuff. So there's going to be, yeah, boat. Got some honey. Got these things. I want to kill Bone Mass again. That'd be pretty fun, too. We need to kill... We definitely need to kill all the bosses again. That's that's definitely something we need to do. And I have enough... I think I have enough stuff to summon all the bosses, but Mother and uh, the Gabo boss. I think they're the only ones I don't have anything to do. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. And how are we doing here? Um, let's grab this... And I don't want, I really don't want this to be a regular wood thing. I want this to be my special wood. So we're going to, I think that's what we're going to do there. I think we're going to just uh, make this the special wood. The special wood is super special. It's super duper special. Yep, core wood. And then we will align this. Actually, we'll do it on this side. Yeah. I'm going to need to get some more fine wood eventually to build a lot of shit. Um... What about you? You're almost done? Yep. Almost done here. We can go ahead and snatch you as well. <laughs> so we can actually just go ahead and build this bad boy right here. Right here. Right here. Is it me or does it look like it's not as high up? It's because it's not as high up. That's why. So what we do is we could jigger. Could jigger. And then we could jigger. And then we could jigger. <laughs> and we keep on kajiggering until the kajiggering is done. You know what? I think I'm going to make that my title next time. We could jigger till the kajiggering is done. It's a good, it's a good motto. It's a good motto. And one of my favorites, uh, who is it? Um, God, I can't remember his name, but he's a, he's a dude who's like a Navy SEAL and all kinds of stuff. And it's like, you don't stop when you're tired. You stop when you're done. That's, that's it. Like that's that's it. That that's that's the meme. You know what I mean? That is the meme. That is exactly what it is, and it is glorious. Um, it's become our family motto here in this house, here in the here in the Tango Hotel. So t t one of the things that I've been discussing with uh, the dude bro that's gonna make uh, make some art and stuff for my channel. Maybe some of that uh, some of that juicy juicy uh, jingleness is. Um is this where this goes? Yeah, this is where this goes. Is um, what is the Tango Hotel? Is it is it is is it an actual hotel? Is that what is that what it is? Is 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 it a boat? I think it's a boat. That's what I think it is. I think I think it's I think it's some sort of ship. You know what I mean? That's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. Because in my in my intro video, it's like welcome to the Tango Hotel, and it's like yeah, that's pretty good. And we're gonna do just regular wood here because I got all the stuff for it. Ding 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 ding. Bam. Beautiful. Beautiful. Butamus, boys. Butamus. Um, I mean, I never really wanted to, like, actually have it be, like, kind of a hotel thing. Like, like literally a hotel. I never really wanted that. Um, you know, I could put it there. Both of those, in fact. Both of those. So, this is... These are for summoning bosses. There we go. How much is it to build that old ca carve? How much is that? It's only 30 fine wood. So what we'll do... Um, how much... How many... It's 30 fine wood and 80 nails. And that's 10 nails. Shit. Um, wait, how much... Is this? 80. So... 
I got all the, okay, all the nails. So I need to grab 20 of this. Let me take it out there. I easily get distracted and stop talking. Stop, stop remembering about things that I was talking about. Um. Yeah, I actually, I actually forgot what I was talking about. Um. I was about to go, oh yeah, yeah. What is the Tango Hotel? Exactly what are we going to do with it? How does it affect, how does it affect the channel? And what does it mean? What is it? That I still don't know. But uh, we were trying to figure it out. I, like I said, I was thinking it was a ship of some type. Something like that. You know what I mean? Be really cool. Alright, we got copper and nails. So... Where do the nails go? Hmm, nails go in there? Nails go in there. Extra nails go in here. So... I guess I could just label it nails, and then I would know what else it is. Now that goes with blood pie, so I'm actually gonna take that away. We're gonna we're gonna stuff it over here, somewhere, maybe here, <laughs> maybe here. What is this? Ah, oh, yes, animal bobs, animal bobs, animal bobs, animal bobs. So let's go ahead and start grabbing this. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can't pick those up. <laughs> they weigh so much. Go ahead and get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Yeah, we'll just we'll just leave it over there. We'll just leave it all over there. Uh, that is Bob's. What is this? This will be Animal Bob's. This, 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 yeah, will be the Animal Bob's. Blobs and Bob's. Animal Bob's. And let's go ahead and throw this stuff in here so I have room. Avoid that so I can pick all this stuff up. Yeah, those things are super duper heavy, dude. The crystals. Mm -mm. But it's one of those things where it's like it's uh, you know in in it's one of the reasons why I play games like this and there are other games that I play that are not just XCOM and one of the biggest reasons is because I don't want to be a single game player. That's not really I, I can't mentally I can't do that. That's just not something I'm I think I'm capable of doing unless it's a, a very specific kind of game. Like maybe it could be that way with Pantheon. Or EverQuest or something like that, where it's it's definitely a game I could play forever, and it not really bother me all that much. I would eventually have to do something else, but uh, for the most part, it wouldn't bother me too much. But I'm definitely uh, definitely looking forward to Pantheon. That's for damn sure. And I was talking about how the game mechanics, um, one of the reasons why that uh, it might be, you know, picking up steam is because people really there are a lot of people out there who really want you know in depth game mechanics. You know what I might do? I might put the wood on the bottom and the fine stuff on top. Yeah. The thing that really makes me mad is the bounding box for the sign. Kind of sucks. Bounding box for the, for the sign kind of sucks. We're going to put uh, what is in here? Nails? Chains? Chains and nails? Chains. Nails. Chains and nails. Chains and nails. Sweet. Stone. Yeah, we might swap these out, actually. So we're going to do this. I'm going to grab all these. going to just do this. Bingo, bango. We're going to grab all these bad boys. See what I mean about the sign? It's about me. When you click on it, it's kind of it's kind of asinine. Let's go ahead and throw these in there. Do, 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 do. And then we grab the regular wood. Yep. I keep forgetting about the take all button keep forgetting about that and there's no yeah nothing you can do about that there's no deposit all why do I have deer nonsense I got deer nonsense all over me okay so there's all the wood is there any more wood in here there is of course I'm carrying too much what did you think this was what did you think this was so this is wood and this is woodish yeah that's much better I think because uh, I use a lot more wood than anything else so that'd be good. To, uh, good to have that there. Coal, iron. So we got iron and some. So I can build. I can build two more of these. Um, do I need them at the moment though? Not particularly. Uh, let's make sure we're done here. Oh, it's looking good. It's looking good. I still need to do my turnips. I still need to do my barley. I got all kinds of shit I gotta do before we can go on the adventure of a lifetime. Look at this. Look at this. Glorious. Glorious, I say. Glorious. Alright, we're going to grab five here. What? 
There we go. That's what I was trying to do. And I th think we can just do this. Right? Uh, do, 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 do. It's not one to it's not one to kajigger properly. So I can I can make it stick there. <laughs> what well, oh, it's oh okay, okay, okay. It's because the wall is right there. Shit. So let me let me delete this and then we grab this and we go whack. I'm hitting the wood. Really, dude? <laughs> All up in my ish. All up in my ish. Smack that. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. And that means we're probably going to need to cut this out, too. Yeah, that should be good. That should be good. Really, bro? Really, bro? Really, is that how we're doing this? <laughs> the damn ceiling is directly in the way. Okay, so... Now, maybe, maybe, just maybe. So you can do it that way. Can it do it this way? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. And then we grab this. Stick it right there. Grab the roof. Uh, which one is it? Is it this one? No, it's this one. It is this one. Yeah, that's mucho bene. Mucho bene. Mucho bene. Now, I still have a shit ton of stone, do I not? I do. Okay. Okay, let's go grab the stone cutting bench. We're going to finagle this wall right here. And then I think, and then I think I might just uh, leave it for another day and uh, go get my iron. Because uh, I am I am rather tired of, uh, of messing with this nonsense. So let's grab, let's get the stone cutter out. I didn't pick it up, did I? I didn't pick the iron up. Why? Because I'm almost at max weight. Because I have a lots of wood. Yes, 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 yes. Lots of wood. Come at me, buddy. What up, dude? You feeling froggy, buddy? Jump. Let's go. Dude, he is. He is a. He is a marching around my fort. Look at this. Trying to find that weakness. Look at him. <laughs> and run into it again. Run into it again. Jackass. Jackass. Okay, so. What are we doing? Oh, yeah. Stone cutter's bench. So, here's what I'm thinking. Since we're moving all this nonsense, what we should do is we should grab a bunch of stone. Like this. And then chuck it on the floor. <laughs> chuck it on the floor. Because why not? And then just, uh, we just, uh, we just, uh, we just do this. And uh, we stick it on in there. Now, here's an interesting conundrum. Uh, let's actually... That's going to get rid of my stone cutting table, isn't it? Yeah, it's going to it's gonna get rid of the stone cutting table. I'm about to redo the floor anyway, but that's okay. Um, I knew I was going to have to do that at some point. Because I re-kajiggered it. Um, I might not be able to get that in there. Unless I... Unless I do this. All right, well, let's get rid of the roof. Because apparently to, to hammer the floor, I got to get rid of the roof. Uh, what is under here? What is going on? I'm trying to dig down. Why is it not letting me? Um... This is weird. Why is it not doing the thing? Ugh, of course I find the thing and it's, it's, it freaking saves it right, right as I do that. Um, that's not right though. Actually, no, that is right. That is right. That is right. So now we might be able to do this. No? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I screwed that up royally. Let's get rid of these. Get rid of that, too. 
And then we knock this out. There we go. And we knock this out. There we go. Good stuff. And now we do this. There we go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now I can build the damn thing, hopefully. Yes. Yes. So yeah, as you can see, the the floor is a little bit higher because I recessed uh, I recessed it when I did the uh, when I did the stone um, parts to it. So we're gonna we're gonna end up moving the, this entire thing over here into this corner, and I'm probably gonna probably gonna do that to that wall right there. That's probably what's gonna happen. Um, you know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Maybe we're gonna have to jigger the roof too because it's of course jacked up as well. Um, that's, uh, that's, a that's a, that's a tale for another day, my friends. That is a tale for another day. I do enjoy base building. I do enjoy it. Um, while I'm here and I got the wood, I can just do this. Right? Totally do that. Can totally make that happen, right? This is totally how it goes. Shit, nope. Shit, nope. Um, one of the weird things about this is, is I'm going to have to, uh, actually, you know, I could just, we could just, uh, take her down, take her down a bit, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just, uh, make it like, make it a bit like this, give it a, give it a little bit of, a little bit of spunk, a little bit of spunk there. Just a, just a wee bit. Yeah. Yeah, what is it doing that for? That is really weird. That is really weird. What is it doing? I'm not sure what the hell's going on here. Um, why is it do Why is it being freaky all of a sudden? Um. Okay, there we go. And then we attach that one to that one. Oh, because it's not aligned properly. <laughs> oh, buddy boy. I'll tell you what, man. I'll tell you what. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Don't try it at home, boys. You might lose a little bit of your soul. It could happen. I, I, I did warn you. Remember, I warned you. You should listen to your good buddy, Tango. He knows what he's talking about. He definitely knows what he's talking about. Um, there we go. Bam. There it is. All right. Now, that's pretty cool. Um, how am I going to jigger this, though? How am I? I love this game building, but sometimes it does the weirdest things. Right, Hidden? Yeah, it really does, man. It really does. Um, and I was just talking about, like, man, I want to I wanna get out on my adventure and do, do the damn thing. And here I am still building shit. <laughs> Yeah, and it's because there's no way to marry the two different uh, the two different things that I've built here. One of the biggest problems was is that uh, the, when I built this thing, is I built it into the wall and out there as well, and so they're not quite cohesive. I didn't build a, a square, you know, box. I kind of built it around, and I've I've reconfigured it a million freaking times. Thing about it is, is that I could probably replace all of this with the uh, the low roof, the lower roof, right? Yeah, that was that was kind of dumb. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of dumb. That was really dumb. That was really dumb. All right, let's go there. And yep, and that is why. I can't, I can't do it quick enough. Uh, let's grab a... How much wood do I actually have on me? Alright, I got, I got quite a bit for what I'm doing, anyway. Uh, let's grab this. It's a taller ladder. We'll just build it. It's a pain in the ass to get up, but it's it's a taller ladder. Okay, so we grab... Doo -doo -doo, flat roof. What is that? Oh, it's the icon for the for the workbench. Yeah, I'm going to need to put another one in there as well. So yeah, this right here is what is kind of the weird thing that I was talking about. Um, let's get over here. Grab this wood. Hey, you see that? That's kind of weird, isn't it? 
And I don't know why exactly it's doing that. Um, if I come over here and I go like this. I mean, it seems to work okay. Doing a little bit of weird nonsense, but that's okay. It's okay. I have a feeling the next time they patch the building system, my entire base is just gonna just gonna fall apart. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's not good at all. That's not good at all. I'm about to I'm about to get rid of that wall. <clears throat> Fell behind that. Uh, let's. Okay, so I can't do that there. I got to do it here. So, let's go. Yeah, you see, look, look at this. How it's kind of like half in there, half not. I don't know how exactly to fix that either, right? It's going to be like that way for the rest of the time, I guess. That's about all there is to it. That's about all there is to it. Let me get rid of that. Okay. And I guess we do it... Do it like this. I do like the fact that it does that, like it'll overlap, so that it'll give you a little bit of a little bit of leeway there. So that you can eventually make it square, which is kinda cool. Yeah, we should be able to do this now. Easy peasy. A lemon squeezy. And you can put it on the side. Bam. Bam. Bada bang. Bada bang. Bada boom. So yeah, I should have been a little bit more careful with how I tore this down. But you know, it is what it is. Is what it is. Hopefully, it doesn't create any more problems than it's uh, than it needs to. Um, that's going to be interesting. I might need to get on the roof for what I'm what for that. So let's grab. Let's knock this down, and we will grab. Do I need to grab more wood? Nah, but it should be fine. Should be fine. Should be fine. But yeah, hidden sage. It, it definitely has some some weird quirks. That's for damn sure. But that's part of the that's part of the charm, I guess you could say. It's part of the charm. So we'll grab, we'll go ahead and disassemble these. Yeah, and the hardest part is going to be marrying that angle with this angle right here as it comes around. Because I've, because this is the problem I've had since the beginning, is that I, I wanted the roof to be two different angles. I wanted the top to be low and the side to be like really high or really steep. So I used, so I used these right here on the, on the very top, the top two, top two tiles, one, two. And then, and three. Is it one, two, three? No, it's one, two, and then these things. And then I use the really steep one on the edge, right? So those, that's that's how long this wall is uh, down on the bottom. But the problem is, is that this entire thing right here is just, <laughs> as you can see, I'm about to run into the same problem I had over there where I have different different uh, angles and there's there's no there's no component in the game to marry the two. Um, to make it look somewhat decent. Well, I guess what I can do is just uh, do it as best I can. I guess best way to best way to get her done. Best you can. Mm, maybe we just do this. Put it right there. Maybe here. It's not snapping, which is really weird. You'd think it would snap onto those, but it's just kind of sliding up and down. See you know what I mean? It's really weird. And then we grab this bad boy, and we bring it around the side. I guess I could just have a faux roof, just so it looks even. That's actually not a bad idea, honestly. You know what I mean? Just, just have it. Yeah, it's just, it's just that way. That way it works. And just, I can't have the look I want, but that's okay. On the outside, anyway. Yeah, so. Ugh. So one thing I don't like about the, 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 the thatch roofs that are the super steep angle is that you will literally slide right the frick off of them. And there's n nothing. God damn it. There's nothing you can do about it. Um, except run up it, like you would a steep ass mountain. It would just be nice if I'm standing on my own damn roof if I don't just slot off. That that'd be phenomenally awesome. It would. 
it would be phenomenally awesome. So I stick that right there, and that actually looks like it might work for me. Right? It'd be a little weird little corner. I could just leave it like that. Could just leave it like that. Right? Do, do, do. Yeah. It's just got a little bit of an extra overhang. That actually does look like it works. Boy, you are barking up the wrong tree now. You are barking up the wrong tree. Yeah, that kind of looks like it might work. It looks a little janky, but... Whatever, what else am I going to do? Actually, you know, we could just leave it like this. Considering I won't really see it from out here. How's the inside look? That's the question. Uh, the inside looks okay. I need to... Get rid of that one. So that it looks somewhat okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we, uh, can I get that in there? Can we put that in there? That's the question. This is, this is why I wanted to, like, marry the two. This is what I was talking about. How it has some weird little, and there's nothing I can put in there that will fix that hole. Or that forms to fit it. You know what I mean? It's just, there's, the game's got nothing. And that's gonna look janky as I'll get out. Yeah, the game has nothing to marry the two. It would be it would be it'd be, it'd be really nice if there was a if there was a roof um, tile that. Well, that's actually not a bad idea. Just keep stacking them on top of one another until it sticks. That might actually work. <laughs> that might actually work. Hey, look at that! Look at that! Could go... Yeah, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that, yeah. Looks pretty good. Looking pretty good there, boys. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and throw our walls back up. And then I think we're now done. I think we're now done here. Now that I've done, you know, destroyed everything that I, that I held dear at one point. Um, let's knock this out right here. There we go. Grab whatever was right there. We'll, uh, we also need to smash this down. Uno mas. Uno mas. Wow, I could actually turn the wall sooner. <sighs> My hammer broke. <laughs> My freaking hammer broke. My freaking hammer broke. I told you, dude. It's it's like it's like a curse. It's like a curse. I can't stop. I can't stop myself. I can't. I cannot. Okay, we're gonna... Yep, we're gonna turn the wall right here. Say here-ish. Boom. There it is. There it is. And we'll grab you there as well. And what, what does that look like? Does that sit there? What does this look like here? Um, hmm, I mean, it looks great. The problem is, is that the, the, because the roof doesn't marry with it, right? It's not going to look as good. Oh, and look, you can see the sky. That's not, that's no bueno. That's no bueno. So let's grab that and that. So my wood would actually get rained on. There's like a single pixel in here where I can where I can stick this. Damn it! Get out of my way. Yeah, we had it look somewhat good. There it is. When uh, <laughs> when all the walls were a little bit, you know, we could uh, push the wall back even more. Right? Could do it. Could push the wall back even more. Like, let go this. That might work. This might work. And then... Oh, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then look, look, look at this. Look at this. Uh, no. You stick it on the ceiling. Can you not? Yeah, there we go. And boom. Yeah, that works. 
It looks a little kajigger, but that's the point, right? That is the point. I gotta admit, it's actually coming together rather nicely. Rather nicely. <laughs> wow, do you see that? It's not touching the it's not touching the wall on the bottom. There we go. There we go. Looking good. Fion, greetings and salutations. Now you were playing Valheim as well? Yes, how's it going? What are you up to? Well, it goes well, my friend. Uh, right now, I'm trying to fix my base because I've just utterly obliterated everything about it. And, you know, I love my base. It absolutely, it's, I absolutely adore it. But sometimes it does feel like uh, base building in this game takes forever. Oh, wait, that's a half wall. I was like, why, is that, why does that look so weird? Why does that look so weird? Because I'm using a half wall. Dumbass. Dumbass. Um, hmm. Okay, this is where we actually use the half wall. And then we use this. But yeah, it goes well, man. I'm on the fifth boss. I'm on the Gobbo boss. And uh, yeah, that that's great. And what we're going to do is we're going to end up moving the, the, the fo uh, whatever the hell this is, the workbench, into this corner. And then I'm a, that will give me room to expand the forge here. And it will also allow me to create a little path right here where I will dig straight into the side of the mountain that I dug out my home into. So look, 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 at, this, look at this thing, dude. Look at how big this place is. It is jive freaking enormous, bro. <laughs> look at all that, dude. It is, oh, I love it. I love it, baby. Woo. It's good stuff. Good stuff. Don't tell me anymore. I'm still on third. Oh yeah, that's fair. It looks very cavey. Yeah, yeah, I know. You can't build in a cave though. That's the sad thing. And we got we got my set my, my tertiary door here, which I believe is actually more grand than the, than the front door. But I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because when I when when the enemies attack my base, this is what they see. It's like I have defeated the dragon. Yes, the mother of all dragons, and I shall defeat you too. <laughs> it doesn't scare them off, but it, it it makes me feel better. So that's 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 all that matters, right? That's all that matters. Uh, but yeah, I think we're I think we're gonna be done for now. Well, with the base, because uh, I want to go get some iron. I want to go do some things, get some stuff and things done. Uh, also, we need to before we do that though, we gotta do this. Unfortunately, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you any more about the uh, about the bosses. You will discover them on your own, good sir. I think I I think I killed some of my turnips doing that right there. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, good luck on the third boss. The third boss is very awesome. Very, very much enjoyed that. I'm probably going to end up killing all the bosses again at some point. Uh, the only hard ones are going to be the are going to be the final boss and the fourth boss. So, come on, turnips! Damn it! I'm debating on whether to actually pick up the carrots or not. <laughs> not even lying. I could eat another bite, couldn't I? What does a turnip give me? Oh, you can't eat turnips. Okay, or raw turnips. That's weird. Totally can in real life. Um, why is that in there? All right, now um, I've got what makes turnip stew meat? Meaty boys, meat. Uh, let's just grab the whole thing and let's make as much as possible. So we got turnip stew, we got blood sausage. I have carrot stew, so that's fine. I need to make more high level stuff, but I, I have the flour. Now I need to make the blood to pudding. Yeah, I got thistle and I've got blood bags and I got all the flour I need, so we can make a lot of blood pudding. We can also make lox meat pie and I can make serpent stew. So we've got, we've got the good stuff. Turnip entrails and raw meat, yeah. Well, the entrails are used for uh, snossages. Snossages. But yes, if you have turnips, entrails, and raw meat, you can make two different things. That's, that is very true. Vita, 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 true. Inventory full. No! Did it use my turnips? Oh, that would, I'm going to be so pissed. I'm going to be so pissed if it used my turnips. So pissed, boys. So pissed. Let's pick up all these stones off the floor. They look like garbage. Oh, wait. I have no room in my inventory. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I have no room in my inventory. You know, I should probably put this, uh, put this copper in here. <laughs> Just for the things. And save. Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Can I make more stew? I think I can. I hope it doesn't use up your mats. That would be very bad. Sausage so turnip stew mixed up. Yeah, it's fine. But uh, it's um, the snossages also require thistle. Four thistle. And uh, I highly recommend farming. Now, unfortunately, 
it doesn't look like there's going to be much. Oh, don't take that back. Farming is very useful for the last tier. It's just um, last tier of food. It's just uh, it only you have to farm something else. You can't use turnips and carrots. Like what would be really cool is if there was a there was a the high level food blood pudding or maybe maybe the lox stew or whatever also use turnips and or carrots or both. Like imagine you need a turnip and a carrot or three turnips, three carrots, um, to make the the lox stuff, and you need one lox meat and and a little bit of flour. That would be that'd be really good. That'd be that would be that would be a reason to continue to farm carrots, or maybe it's like one carrot and one turnip each, so you don't have to farm nearly as many as you used to. Can you eat carrots? Yes. <laughs> yes, you can. They don't give you sh they don't give you ish, but I mean that's not the biggest deal, I guess. It's not the biggest deal. Um, I actually don't need carrots, so we're just gonna sit them in there. Yep, I have turnip stew, sausages, and three carrots. So what we'll probably do is um let's oh man I just ate a carrot too I feel dumb I feel derp I feel the derp. Yes, I feel the derp. I shouldn't have done that. And the main reason is because I am going to go make... I am going to go make... We don't need these for anything but the final boss. So, you know, I could just use my regular food. Just need to get back. I got rested bonus. Okay, where's my base? Modeth? No, 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 no. Let's go here. Yep. Let's go pick up my barley. In my flax. Hopefully the gabos have not, you know, completely taken it over since I've been gone for like five or six days. Mm, what is that? What is that? Okay, it looks like my crops are fine. My bonfire's good, too. Yep, bonfire's good. Bonfire's real good. Uh, we also got some more black metal here. Yeah, we got more black metal. Yep. Okay, do I, did I bring my cultivator? I did. <laughs> yes. Yes, boys. It's good stuff. Um, I think I might end up... Damn, look how much black metal I got. The thing about it is you really don't need that much, man. Yeah, that's the sad part. That's the sad part. Freaking iron. Freaking iron, dudes. That's the, way, that's the wave of the future. That's the wave of the future. So we're going to go grab... We're going to go grab our boat. And I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna destroy the damn thing. Honestly, I'm probably gonna hit it with an axe, and uh, or kill it with an axe, and then grab the iron nails from it and use it to go through the portal and build another boat, and then use the motor thing, buff to uh, do my thingamajigger. To do my thingamajigger. I cannot believe, you know, like I was saying earlier, dude. I'm real. I'm pretty sure the reason this game is so damn popular is the fact that the mechanics are. Um, make the game hard, where you have to, like, put effort in to actually do anything. You can't just start up the game and, hey, I'm gonna go kill the fifth boss. You know, I'm gonna go kill the fourth boss. No, you gotta put some effort into it. You gotta have the right food, you gotta find the damn thing. It's really cool. It's really cool. And like I was saying earlier, I believe it's one of the reasons why, um, MMOs, I mean, they're very popular. A lot of people play them, don't get me wrong, but there is a niche in the market where there are people who don't want to play theme park MMOs anymore, you know? I remember playing, getting on back, back in the Battle of Azeroth on WoW, and just being able to walk, especially on my Paladin, uh, even even in ret form, uh, which is the DPS spec, just being able to walk around and just basically, you know, not die. I pull like 10, 15 mobs, I'd be alright. Just be alright. You know there's a flare in this game so you can see the planes at night put a core in a bonfire at night? Wait, 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 wait. What? What? Huh? Oh, it does say use item there. So if I went like this, could I burn that? Eight? Okay. So if I put a... So what you're saying is if I put a Sulter, Sur, Suter core in the bonfire, it'll shoot a flare up into the, into the sky? Is that what you're saying? Is that what's is that what's going on here today? Look how much barley I have, dude. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. All right, let's uh, throw some more down. Uh, we're probably gonna need just a little bit more. Shoots a flare into the air. Well, I'll be damned. I'll be damned. Why am I blocked? This is ridiculous, game. Stop blocking me. 
You don't have the right to block me. I am a freeman. I will do what I please. <laughs> I guess it's because I got it too close to my body, I think. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's, it's definitely what it is. It's definitely what it is. <laughs> it keeps doing it. I can't stop it. There we go. There we go. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Honestly, it doesn't. Uh, once you get enough of them, you could just spam it. There's always more land. I mean, <laughs> look at the map. So, <laughs> you can always make more land. Or, excuse me, there's always more land. Even with a full team of dudes... I seriously, seriously doubt you could uh, cover the entire map in farmland and even make a dent in it. You'd be spending all your time just farming. I mean, let's be real. That's exactly what would be going on. Although you'd be able to feed the world. Not much of a world to feed, though. It's just like, uh, what was the... What was the? By the way, that's, that's cool, Joker, and thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, what was the... What was the... I think it was uh, in Vikings, the TV show, where Ragnar was talking to I forget who it was. Uh, maybe it was the maybe it was the king at the time. I think it was like season two. And he was talking to the king and I think maybe Lagatha. I don't maybe it wasn't Lagatha. I don't remember. Anyway. I think it was Lagatha. Anyway, um, he was talking to I think it was King Harold actually. And what he was talking about was uh, England has enough, you know, farmland where we can we can we can, you know, if we colonize this place we could we could we could feed everyone. <laughs> And it's like, how very naive, right? How very naive. As, as much of a free-thinking, forward-thinking, smart individual they made Ragnar out to be in the, in the, in the, in the show. Like, that is, that is a very naive outlook on the world. But, I mean, it, it kind of makes sense from his perspective. Okay, I got 80. Excellent. So that's, that's you know, look at all this. This would be more than enough. Um, but it, it is kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of funny that it, how naive that is. And it's only because he, do, he, he doesn't have any, uh, the character doesn't have any experience with large amounts of populations. I'm, I'm pretty sure the writers knew this because no one is that, is that freaking stupid, right? No one. I don't care if you don't know anything about farming or population. You, you, you know that humans will procreate to fill their, um, food supply. That is how humans work. There is a little bit of difference in like mo in some first world countries where there's a little bit of other things going on, but that's that's a whole other ball game. Um, but especially back then, if you make more food, you will have more humans because the only the only thing keeping the human population down is starvation. Uh, especially like at that time, that was the main thing. Well, I, you know, obviously, you know, everybody killing each other didn't help, but you know, that's neither here nor there. That's a whole other problem. You could chop down barley and flax with polearm spin. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding. You mean I can I can like reaper this stuff with the spin to win? And it actually won't damage the plants? That sounds fun. That sounds fun. I gotta try that next time. I definitely gotta try that next time. So the reason the reason Tango came all the way out here to do all this is because is because we need this stuff to get the get the the, bo the main boss. So I'm going to we're just gonna replant this. Cause we need lots of thread, which is what flax makes. We need lots of barley to make the good food. The carrot is wearing away. What's what do I not have? Carrot stew. I probably need to pick some more of that stuff up when I get home. Maybe. You really don't need the good stuff for the swamp. And as you can see, I've pretty much cleared out the plains. I think the bonfire keeps the gobos from spawning here. That doesn't mean they won't patrol this way, though. So you definitely got to keep an eye on There's some more locks over there, too. So I can go grab some more meat if I need it. How much flax do I have left? Um, we go nine more. Mm, maybe we go a little bit more than that. I don't actually know how much of this shit I need. You know what else? I didn't see... I didn't. I tried to. I tried to destroy it. That's what I was trying to do there. Um, I didn't see anything I could build in the in the base with it, right? 
Like, there's no other crazy banners I can make. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and boom. Okay, sweet. That is crazy. The pole arm spin. You can pole arm spin. Look, this is where it, this is this is this is this is this is gonna be fun. Like. <laughs> I'm sure he's is he a he's a giant goblin, right? He's gotta be a giant goblin. It's gotta be one. It's gotta be one. Let's grab this. Just sit down, take a chill pill. All my farming's done. Alright, we're good. Let's get her done. Padded armor with thread. Oh yeah, that's right. The padded armor, which is really weird, right? Really weird. You would think. You would think that padded armor would be like the first armor you'd make. Maybe, maybe no, 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 no. Probably be like after deer, right? Because I mean that's the way it works in um, in real armor. Is that uh, padded armor goes under like a, what is it a gambeson? Yeah, gambesons. Gambesons go under your mail and all your um, all your plate and all that other nonsense. If you're actually you don't you would never. I don't think you'd wear a gambeson under plate mail. I'm not sure. I think you wear gambeson under chain mail. And you can wear a gambeson by itself because it's really thick, oily cloth that uh, in and of itself will prevent you from taking, or not, it won't prevent you from taking arrow fire, but it will, it will, um, I still got the stone axe? What the hell? It will prevent you from, yeah, here we go, padded cuirass. Yeah, yeah, look at all that, dude. Padded greaves. But I want, the, I like the wolf armor, dude. It looks so cool. This stuff looks like garbage. That's the thing that kills me, man. Look, look, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Right? That's what the silver shield looks like. Okay? Look how beautiful it is. Gorgeous. 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 There, look at look at that. Serpent scale shields. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Iron banded shield. Not bad. Not bad. Bronze buckler. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Even the wooden shield looks okay for what it is. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. It's ugly. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, it's cool, but it's ugly. That's the problem, right? And it's the it's the high-tier shield. I'm like, what the frick? I mean, I get the fact that it's made out of, like, black metal and stuff, but seriously. Finally wrought strong enough to turn up the sharpest blades. And the thing that bothers me the most is it's made of iron and not black metal. Like, why is it not made of black metal? Because here's a black metal... Ooh. Black metal axe, eh? Black metal eight gear. Ooh, spin to win. Spin to win. In case you didn't know, can change the look of the shield before you craft it. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm sorry, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So what you're telling me, what you're telling me, is that if I go down here to shield... Bruh. Bruh. Oh, it's, I mean, it still looks like garbage, dude. I don't have that chain shit on the front of it. I mean, that's awesome, though. That is definitely awesome. It's too bad I can't change the style. Like, when you upgrade it, because I would totally... It's already level two. I mean, it's not like I don't have a shit ton more black metal I can go get, so... <laughs> not the biggest of deals, I guess. Um, let's also break this down. I'm going to go set it outside. We're going to go set this outside. I'm going to set it right right here. Let's set the spinning wheel. Um, let's do this. You only had 40 flax. That kind of sucks. It needs a roof, you say. It needs a roof, you say. Well, allow me, good sir. To provide you with one. I just don't want it in the house. That's 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 my main thing is I just don't want it in the house. Um I might even go so far as to build some more stone blocks out here at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, how much what what the hell does this thing require? Am I gonna be able to carry all this crap? Uh let's see. Thirty iron, yeah, twenty stone. I think I got enough. Yeah, I had no idea you could change that on the shield. I had no idea. I had no idea. That makes me that makes me kind of angry. 
Because I would definitely not have picked this thing. <laughs> I did not know that. I, I, to be fair, though, I have seen other people with... Um, yeah, you got to put it in the back. Man, that sucks. Uh, so you need to have it something like... I um, mean, you have something like this. It just sucks, man. That's just, you know, it just sucks. So what we'll do is what I might do is I might do this. There we go. Yeah. Friggin' fitty. Fitty. All right, there we go. Sweet. Let's grab. Do, 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 do. We'll just throw these in here. No big deal. And we'll get rid of that. At some point, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna re, re jigger the dock too. Absolutely, black ice. Almost half a year. Yes, sir. Subscribe for five months at tier one. My dude, my man. Thank you very much for that. Very much appreciate it. Absolutely appreciate all your support. Thank you very much, dude. Very much appreciate that. Yes, sir. Look at that. It's beautiful. Butamus. Butamus. Need all the, I need all those things. All of them things. Okay, boys. It's time. It's definitely time. It's definitely time. Yeah, it kind of... I'm not going to lie. It kind of makes me... The, the the whole shield thing, I'm kind of I'm torn over. Um, makes me want to make another one. So it can look cool. <laughs> I'm not really sure if I want to do that, though. And indeed, greetings and salutations, my friend. I very much appreciate all your support, dude. And thank you all for being here today. So I got 21 straight up. So I could make another black shield. Uh, how much would it cost me? It's eight? Yeah, that's not going to be too bad. And what, like 10 to, 10 to upgrade the first time? Or like four? Yeah, yeah, we're going to make... We didn't mean to make you mad with that. Oh, no, you're not making me mad, dude. It was the fact that I did not know that that made me mad. It's like, damn, I did not know that because I would have made, I would have probably made my Iron Banded shield a little different too. Did my boat die? <laughs> yes. Yes, it did. My boat died. Probably because of that rock right there. Ain't that some shit, dude. And I'm almost maxed on weight. And guess what I don't see? My iron nails. Wow. Wow, dude. That blows. And I can't get up the stairs. It won't. I hate the fact that the damn game doesn't let you jump. I despise that. I can't, I, I can't even whip out my damn hammer. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Aren't I? No. Okay. <sighs> okay. Yeah, this 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 really blows. Well. Well. Uh well, I guess I just have to make Well, now I'm not sour at all. Nope. Nope, not at all. Couldn't even jump up my stairs, man. Couldn't even jump up my stairs. Um, can I possibly... I don't have any... I don't have any stone on me. Um, there is stone in that thing. Let me go ahead and put all this up. Um, get out of here. Uh, let's put that there as well. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. There is stone out here. Yeah, yeah, look. My iron nails are nowhere to be found. I thought when I jumped in it would give them, give them to me. It did not. So apparently you will... I've had that happen before where my boat has died and I lost the iron nails. Right? Yeah, I've actually had that happen before. That really does suck, man. Like, that legitimately blows... And I can't get back up on the dock because I can't whip out my hammer to build. <sighs> Son of a mother. F fluffin' fluffer nutter. This is great, boys. This is great. <laughs> it won't even let me climb up the stairs. 
What in the fluff game? Dude, seriously. Stop being this way. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm 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 rather rather pissed now. 